what is happening guys welcome back to another video it's your boy fresh sabatos coming at you live from the shoe palace what's on the feet oh we got the crusty usties on today yeah these is the farthest thing from uh heaters definitely beaters so we are going to be hopping straight into this video you know how i get down today i was supposed to be taking the z to get the new uh, manifold downpipe and turbo installed and the uh, V bands to the headers but guy hit me up and said if I could just bring it this weekend instead so I'm like fuck man and it's all right anyways because I kind of didn't want to drive the car all the way um, out to him he's about an hour away even though the car is driving fine I still don't know 100% what's wrong with it probably best to just play it safe and keep the car local and um, try to figure out what's going on before we put the whole new turbo kit on. Even if it did go on today, the car's not boosting at all. Like it won't go past one pound. You know, I wouldn't even be able to test the car out, see how it sounds, how it feels, nothing. It would just be an NA drive back home. So uh, it's all good. I'm gonna start with the injectors. Everything else just seems fine. So it's, it's, it's just really weird. I've never ran into this issue before. It's possible that could be something fuel related. So it might be uh, injector wise. I know all my pumps are good. Uh, both of my inline pumps are brand new pretty much. Uh, my intake pump is brand new. They're all on switches so I could just turn it on and hear that they all work. So those are all fine. Um, the regulator is fine. Fuel pressure is fine at idle. It's possible it could just be maybe one of the injectors. I mean they're IDs. Normally IDs don't have any issues but um, it's you know it's possible. I mean they've been in the car for a year. It's been on straight 85. Uh, you should probably clean your injectors probably like every six months to a year. So uh, it could be just time. Either one of them's ruined or one of them is just dirty, stuck, or something's going on. The new kit is going to be so easy to put on. It's going to be two V-bands up top, two V-bands on the turbo, and one V-band on the downpipe. That's it. Whole entire turbo kit, bro. Yeah, man, I can't wait. Honestly, I'm super excited. Um... Obviously the car moves as is, it's quick, but it's not quick enough, man. You know, with all these new S58s now, B58s, like bro, these cars do tune and a turbo and they're making 900, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to compete with that shit and they're auto, you know what I mean? Like you could shift fast as fuck, but those kind of cars just don't drop any boost, bro. Like they just stay in boost. Shit's like a CVT trans. <laughs> Honestly unfair. Like when you start comparing stick shift cars, to the modern day, like automatics, it's honestly, it's so unfair. It would be nice if there was a lot more, you know, manual race cars out there, but it's kind of rare, bro. Like a lot of these fast cars, you know, are auto. Like if you want to be the fastest, you're going to be in an auto, bro. That's that's just what it is. There's nobody out there in a stick shift beating uh, a UGR <laughs> fucking Lambo. Like it's just not happening. So at the end of the day, like if you want to be the fastest, you have to be in an auto. It's cheat code, but it works, you know what I'm saying? But for me, man, I don't know. There's something about a manual car, just being engaged and like having a lot of power with a manual. That shit hits different. Alrighty, like, guys. Got some progress. Manifold's off. About to pull the rail off and uh, see what's good with the injectors. These things look like in beautiful shape. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can really see, but. Uh, they're really clean it was only one this one right here it looks a little dirty so i mean just because they look fine doesn't mean that they're working fine So injectors are good. There's nothing wrong with injectors, but I'm gonna clean them anyways. Injectors are fine, as I kind of assumed, but you know, that's one more thing we can knock off of the list. George told me it's very rare, but he said just swap out the MAF sensors. It's possible, like there's some moisture or something maybe happen with the MAFs. He said it wouldn't cause any issues if the boost is negative, but once it goes positive, then that's when you'd have problems. So, um, yeah, we'll see. Alrighty guys, we are back. <laughs> As you see, I was over here trying to cut some shit. Cause... So to get the clamps off of the charge pipes, I actually have to pull all the bolts for the intercooler off. So yeah, it's a pain in the ass, man. Anytime the charge pipes have to come off for the manifold, it's just 
kind of sucks, but it's the best way to ensure no boost leaks. Just gonna try uh, different map sensors. I'm just gonna take them out of the S15. I know those ones work, so uh, different map sensors, and honestly, hopefully that fixes the issue. Seems like a really small issue though, so I'm, I'm assuming that one little thing is just gonna end up fixing the car. That's just normally how these HRs are. It's just like something little will always give you like the biggest problem. <laughs> Remember when I was having a shit ton of issues with this one? It was blowing out all that smoke and misfiring and like the car was just running like shit. It was a map sensor. So it is highly possible that uh, something with the map sensors. All right, guys, so everything is back. Um, I'm just gonna prime it a few times, make sure there's no leaks. Honestly, I should have did that shit before I put the manifold back on, but <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, I just took off the bumper completely because um, if this is not fixed, then uh, I'm gonna have to pull all the shit back off again to do a compression test. And then by then, we should know something. Um, but I swapped over the map sensors, took them out of the S15. I know those work 100%, so uh, I guess let's see. still running hella lean at idle so something's still wrong like I guarantee you I don't even have to drive it I'm pretty sure something's still wrong turbo sounds great the car's fucked up though <laughs> not supposed to do that <laughs> all right guys so we are here again i just had to take all this shit off once again but now i think we actually found the problem if this doesn't fix it then I'm probably just shoot myself in the foot, but we found a very, very, very huge issue. This manifold actually cracked. So we were spraying around trying to see for any leaks and we found one up here that was changing the idle a little bit. So we're like, ah, maybe it's just a hairline crack or something, you know, in the manifold. I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see this. Oh, ah, <laughs> yeah, if you guys look there, so I'll tune this shit too good to crack the damn manifold. That shit smooth split. <laughs> like you guys probably can't really tell on video, but it's split. Uh -huh, it's like right there. there. Yeah. Gasaway. Highly possible this could be like the reason my car's not boosting what it should. Not holding the boost. On the dyno, this car hit 35 pounds. Never seen that on the street, ever. After that day on the dyno, I'd never seen that. It would peak like maybe 28, 30, but it would always drop to like 23, 22. So this could have been an issue for a very, very long time. It obviously it probably started out small and then eventually got bigger. I think those runs the other night and then the other day, that, those were the last ones this manifold could take. Because <laughs> if you look at this one, look at how closed it is compared to this one right here. That shit is split, my G. So um, hopefully at least this will just solve the issue right now. Uh, if it's still dropping boost, then it could just be turbo, you know, whatever. But uh, at least this should fix my issue because this, this is for sure cracked, like 100%. So whew. I told you guys, man, HRs, they're, they're really straightforward. Like it's always something really little. I'm going to transfer all this stuff over to this uh, manifold, put it back on, test the car, and then I'm just going to go from there. Gonna be the first startup now that we have a proper sealed manifold. This thing is idling perfect right now. That's what we like to see. Not fucking 17.5. <laughs> See how long the idle lasts. 
But as of right now, she is idling perfect. And bars are good. According to my AF, 100% the boost problem is going to be fixed. The car should boost again. I feel like it's possible that time we actually had it on the dyno when we did the pulls. When it hit over 30 pounds, it possibly could have cracked then. And then ever since then, it could have been slightly cracked, even though it's still holding. It just wasn't holding the boost how it should. And then now, eventually, that shit just split. When I was running the Hellcat and I hit third gear, the shit probably just, just completely split. So, yeah, you guys can see now. Look at that. Realistically, um, I need an aftermarket manifold for this car. Like 15, 20 PSI, like all day long. It's, it's cool for the stock manifold, but yeah, once you go over that like 25 PSI mark, uh, you're most likely gonna have to upgrade the manifold. I do have the kinetics for the S15. I could put it on here, but um, I just, I wanna keep that one for the S15 because it just makes it look cleaner. I don't really care how this engine bay looks. So uh, possibly I'll end up doing maybe the GTR conversion. Obviously, I'm gonna have to get the charge pipes modified, and I need to do the, I need like the billet lower manifold, and it, it's just hella expensive. So, uh, so far the car is definitely idling a lot better. AFRs are reading normal again, so I know the car is gonna boost. Man, bro, I really hope this fixed my idle problem. <laughs> that, uh, uh, bro, that is so annoying. It is idling perfect right now. Literally perfect. Please stay like this, please. She was a little dusty and got caught in the rain, you know, on the way back. Oh, let's see what it do. You think it's gonna hit boost or not? <laughs> we back, baby. That should have hit 10 pounds, like no problem. All right, man, just threw 40 up in this joint. I don't know why that stupid ass chicken joint came back. feels good. I put the car back to wastegate right now and it seemed pretty strong, like it felt pretty good. So I'll probably go back to the boost controller, but I really just wanted to test it out on just a straight wastegate, so it feels good. Oh! Ah, she's feeling good. Clearly, 100% uh, the manifold was the issue. Uh, for sure shit's cracked. <laughs> Obviously the car was trying to boost and there's a huge vacuum leak. Another manifold on there, she is boosting like normal. It does feel a lot stronger and healthier, especially considering I just went to wastegate. So I'm off about maybe like five, six pounds right now. I don't think it fixed the idle issue because uh, I started doing this shit again. Like at first it was fine, but after a little bit it started, uh, uh, so I don't fucking know what that shit is, but at least I know the manifold's good. Car's boosting. <laughs> So she's officially fixed and ready for the new uh, turbo setup. So uh, I'll probably come back like Friday, put the bumper on. Saturday, we're gonna be installing uh, the whole new turbo setup and we're gonna see how that goes. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to like hit any hard boost because it needs a retune. Should be able to see some kind of difference at normal driving and just spooling. On that note, man, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to drop a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Catch you guys in the next one.